Hi guys, this is Richie from Fret Junkies and um, this week I'm really excited to be bringing you a video um, with Mac Foley from Mac Foley Guitar Products. Mac has come down to Cornwall um, to teach me his method of winding. Yeah, let's uh, let's hear a little bit about Mac and um, where, where it all started, Mac. Right, well I started in 1979. Uh, I was lucky enough to get an apprenticeship in the electrical and electronics industry. Um, and I started rewinding armatures and motors and alternators and I was also working on energy management systems so I went to college for four years got sitting girls London Institute uh, level three um, so I've gained a lot of knowledge in in that side of the industry uh, I then went on to work for LSUK which was Lucas service in the old days so I was working on modern engine management systems and engine tuning uh, injection systems diesel engines but i was on the electrical side which would have been called an auto electrician uh, so i was constantly repairing electrical systems and diagnosing i was using oscilloscopes test equipment and this this was from 1979 right through really so my background is in electronics and i was trained professionally at college and how to use equipment, diagnostics and research as well. Uh, at the same time I was obviously playing guitar and playing in bands uh, and I was always fiddling with guitars really. I never sent them anywhere for repair. I always used to repair them myself but obviously I was interested in the electrical side. So obviously pickups and the electronic parts was of my interest more than the bodies and the and spraying so that, that really all my knowledge I, t I put into the pickups which really is that it's the same thing the the concepts and the specs and the materials was really what I was using from 1979 so I got myself I found a supplier for the magnets and the wire so I used all my equipment that I had from when I was an apprentice and through my work as a vehicle electrician and basically developed strap pickups but on the vintage side so I was always interested in the vintage and I'm really a strap guy more than anything I'm not a Gibson guy sorry to the Gibson guys but I'm really a, <laughs> a strap guy so pick strap pickups was and is is my is my thing really so I've spent a lot of my time researching um, on the internet and down downloading a lot of quite high research on capacitance really and that's the thing that a lot of winders don't don't actually understand in the pickups it's the capacitance that is the and the inductance that is the really important thing um, which I've been discussing with Richie that that's how I work with the pickups it's inductance and capacitance not the resistance which everyone goes for that just means you've got a circuit in the pickup so I've been down here with Richie for about three days and I've actually just what I've come down to do is just pass on my wines really which is one of them certainly different to what everybody Very different. I think Richie was really surprised on that and yeah, how different yeah, yeah it, was, it was definitely something I've never seen or even read about before I think yeah I think yeah definitely uh, it's a unique Pr proprietary wine I think is, yeah. is what they call it and it's, it's yeah. to do with capacitance basically coil capacitance my wine is dealing with coil capacitance so with the, some of you might know you've got the we've got my uh, big iron low wine pickups they're low wine but they're not thin sounding yeah. and they're not thin sounding is because of the coil capacitance so because my wine's different I'm doing a 
there's different thing. There's something different in that wine, and I'm altering the core capacity. So I'm still putting a bit of body. There's always a bit of body in that pickup, even though it's a low, so-called low output. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and remains solid through low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the pedals, well, Mitchie's got some great gear down here. Got some a nice old black face, and um, we got some great pedals down here. And these and this is really leads on to the reason why I sort of came to Richie really because he bought some pickups from me about a year ago I think they were the big irons big irons the Stevie the, yeah. Staggers that's the ones yeah yeah he bought some pickups from me um, and then I started to follow him on YouTube which was Fret Junkies which for those of you who are looking now it's worth signing subscribing to that channel um, so I started to get interested in what he was doing he was using the same gear that I really liked the old gear he was using some really great pedals that some of them were quite new at the, coming out at the time, not a lot of people knew about. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, I mean, he's got the touch, he got the tone, and that's something that I, that really got me because there's just not that many guys about that on the same, same interest and level. Really, he got the equipment, and he got the tone, and it. Re and I thought, yeah, that's really, that's really great. So we started, sort of um, messaging. Yeah, they've the, the developed yeah, like a good, solid relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I decided we, we were coming down to Cornwall, so we came down on. We were actually on holiday, so we came down for a day to see Richie. We kind of geeked out over gear. We did, yeah. We? yeah. we sat down here and played. He got me pickups. He's got he's got the pre CBS as well. Um, so we yeah we geeked out on the gear, played some of the pedals. I had to go on the old blackface, uh, and then it wasn't long after that. You know, from this meeting, a few things that were said. Yeah. I've been looking to get somebody to wine with me as well. At the moment, some of you who have ordered have, have had to wait four weeks simply because of the, the um, turnaround time, because of the amount of people that are ordering the pickups. So I was thinking, mm, I, I need somebody really of the same thinking to actually get on board and do some winding, some winding as well. And also, for those of you who have subscribed to Fret Junkies and following the videos, he's doing some great videos on gear. He's doing, you know, people send him gear for, for reviews and, and to look at. And he's, he's got a great tone and he prepares the videos really well. And, I, yeah, and I, for me, that's something I've been lacking in as MF Guitar Products. We basically don't have the time and the knowledge really we haven't got the skills that's not my side of it to do that so basically i just contacted richie and asked him i said would you be interested in winding some pickups for us so i think he had a little thing well he didn't even have a thing no i don't think there was no, anything it wasn't a <laughs> thing it come at a perfect time didn't yeah, it yeah it did yeah um, i'm trying to um i've worked construction since i was 17 and um music's massive to me you know i'm passionate about music passionate about you know, people who are passionate about music, you know, I really believe that if somebody is passionate about what they're doing, that's the best currency they can ever work with. Um, and Mac, obviously, you know, you know what I think of his pickups before any relationship was ever built. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I was like, these things deliver. They're, they're right on point. And, you know, doing the videos was something that I always like to do. You know, I like to share as much that I've learned so far. And obviously, there's going to be a lot more to learn. But, you know, just sharing the tones and kind of develop a relationship with you and then you, yeah. you, you asked the question and yeah I did yeah I asked, asked the question and you said yeah, yeah that's right away. great to that so this is this is how this happened so yeah. we arranged to come down I'll say for these three days come down to Cornwall and what I've done is basically just shown him my wines there's for the strap pickups there's two wines you know I've got the pre CBS and the big irons there is the 59 reserves V1 and V2 as well I'll talk about that in a minute. So basically, there's two different wines. So I just had to come down here and really show him, pass on the wines that that I designed. One of them I designed, which is the big irons. And that's the capacitor. I call that a capacitance wine. What it does, like I say, with the big irons, you, you can have a low output, but you can actually add just a bit of body, but still have the low output. So there's no thinning out and they don't drop out under loads so I've actually come down I've needed to actually show up, be here with him and show him that that wind which he's noted down he's got all the spec and yeah. the pattern now I've got it guarded under lock and key he has yeah, he's got it guarded 
So <laughs> and, and the other wine is the pre-CBS wine. Now, um, that is an exact copy from pickups of the pre-CBS era, era. So everything up to the 64, 65, 65. So I've had 50s and 60s strap pickups come into the workshop for rewinds and I've had whole pre-wides come in which they've still got working pickups in them so sometimes I've had the whole the whole lot come in and I've, sometimes I've had occasionally I've had a guitar or I've had a pre-wide come in with one dead pickup so I was lucky enough to test the existing pickups for inductance and resistance not resistance capacitance <laughs> don't not resistance <laughs> so I've actually got the results of that and then the ones that are coming for rewind instead of just chopping the the wine down the middle with a razor blade and taking the old wine straight off I've sat down and I've just sat there and, and unwinds it could be 8,200 turns yeah, I just wanted to say on that as well for anybody who's never looked at like you know it's not, you're not taking off something that's going to you know 10 wines we're talking the whole lot Big wines. So from the from the cloth wire, from the black or the white wire. So I unsolder them and I've sat there and I've just Meticulous unwound thing. it all the way through until it comes to the magnets at the end. So I've sat and looked at the wind and noted how the wire has come off. And I've done that with a lot of the actual real pickups I've had in so I can see how they were actually wound in the day. So there's no guesswork in that at all. And obviously I've been able to measure the thickness of the form of our wire which is on them and the gauss of the magnets the magnet strength so that wind has been reverse engineered so i've taken it off how they put it how they wound it on and i've put it back on the way they did it exactly duplicated the wine so and i've been able to tell that that's that's right at the end by the by existing good pickups that i've tested so when i build mine and i've potted them in the black wax the, the proper old black wax i've actually tested them and i know they're the capacitance and inductance is exactly the same. So you'll measure the one that you've rewound, pit it against the two yeah. that are kind of already there. and it's got to come there. into spec, which I've been obviously pushing over to you, the yeah. spec bit. They've got yeah. to be in spec. So what Rishi's going to be doing, he's going to be winding, and then he's going to, when they're fin potted and finished, he does the testing with a with an LCR meter, so he knows what to look for. So if them pickups are within that spec, He'll be sending them back out to me, and I'll just do the final check on them, tie them up in the bag, and they go out to the customer. So um, that's what we're doing with the pickups. But there's a few other things we've been talking about as well, which will be coming up in the future. Uh, I'm not going to say what they are yet, but they'll be you know within the vintage tone. It's always to do with tone. Always tone. Always yeah. tone. Yeah. Always tone, and it's it's vintage. I mean, I make the um, 50, uh, 59 Reserve V1, which Matt Schofield uses in all of his guitars now. Thanks, Matt. He's also taking delivery of some pre-CBS, which should be with him very soon, which is going in his original old 61 strap, um, not in his, his SVL. I mean, that speaks volumes in itself, doesn't yeah. it, really? Yeah, and this, this is an SVL that Simon made for me, which I test all my pickups in. Um, which is the funny thing I was talking to Richie about that when I'm testing the pickups I test them first through a little Yamaha the little amp. toaster amp the little toaster amp <laughs> yeah. I've got a setting on there and that's, that's my on my bench and that's when I'm designing pickups that's the amp I'm using to tune them and I, it's bizarre but there's, I know they're sounding good in that when they go into the black face they're more than ready then so um, going back to the SVL this is what Simon made for me, and he actually uses all my pickups, which I'm very thankful for in, in all of his builds. He uses the V1s and the V2s. He's had some big irons, and he's using the, going to be trying some pre-CBS as well. And he also uses my Teddy pickups, which probably not a lot of you know too much about at the moment, but there'll be a bit more news on that. So. Obviously, I'm very grateful to, to Simon because he's done a lot for me as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I played the SVL, first time I've ever played one. I've been following for a while. Um, I give it a good... You go, yeah, gave it a good going. going. You know, and, you uh, did, yeah. and Mike's got the... You, actually, worth you've got the Hendrix set of strings on there at the minute. I have. I've got 1038s on here from Kurt Mangan. Yep. Uh, which Damien feel? in the UK, which... Uh, yeah, I'm, I've had them on there a while and I'm giving them a go. 
and these are actually tuned down semitone as well but um, yeah we're, we're giving them a go um, but Richie's actually got an original old Strat a white one that you see him play a lot on his fret junkies on his video and I'll say he's been doing some winding down here and he's wound some he's done some pre-CBS pre-CBS yeah yeah he's wound some pre-CBS which he has gone and fitted into his white Strat yeah so they're in there and that was the, that's the, really your first produ production wind. My first set. I but, was I was going to put them up on the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, no. in Max fashion, but yeah. Um, but they, now they've gone in his in his white strat, and Richie's actually going to uh, play us out. Yeah. Using those pickups in in that old guitar, which is a really great great thing, and it and it really sets up now for the future. Yeah. So pickups are going to be wound here in Cornwall. And they're going to be wound on the Isle of Wight. They're all going to be the same. They're all going to come out the same spec. You know, it doesn't matter who winds them. It's all under the same same thing. Yeah, they're all under there's, there's, quality control. Yes. There's, there's, there, it's there's, tight, there's tight tolerances on it. And yeah. yeah. So you can rest assured. Rest assured. There. Well, you're going to hear it when he plays on the outro on his, on his Strat. You can yeah. hear him. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, so um, like I said at the start of the video, really excited that Max come down and um, I'm really, you know, excited to get into, into the future because there's a lot of stuff coming. Um, so make sure to be following us everywhere you can um, because we're going to be uh, doing our best to be keepers of good tone. Yeah, we are. We sure are. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, so thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll link everything up in the bottom as per usual. As Mark said, I'm gonna play out now on my on my old girl, probably straight in, um, and and what you hear will be the first set that I've done in Mark's fashion, and uh, yeah, this has been great. Thanks yeah. for being here, Mark. Great, yeah, and uh, really good. Thanks, thanks, thanks for watching. Peace. Cheers. See ya.